up guys welcome back to another scooter video today we're up here at my local but before we jump into today's video i want you guys real quick to go down in the comments and comment below do you guys wear pads yes or no just comment yes i wear pads or no i don't wear pads right now so i'm serious right now why you guys wear pads or not is because today's video is all about what pads I wear and I've had a lot of requests actually for people asking like what kind of pads I wear why I wear pads and uh, kind of like just kind of some like they maybe they want some tips or some preferences on some pads to get for yourself so that's what today's video is about so let's dive right into the pads that I wear we're gonna start out with just the knee pads I wear the Protect Street knee pads so I've been riding these things for like not this exact pair but I've been riding the same model for the past like I want to say eight years or so I really like them because they got that hard shell on the outside and they got a thick pad on the inside so it works pretty well especially for like when I'm going through the balls and like I need a knee slide or something like that I can like slide on my knees not really have to worry about too much like knee damage going on especially if I didn't have knee pads on it's this thing has definitely saved my knees many times but I ride the Protect Street knee pads just been doing it for years, so that's what I'm comfortable with. Now let's move on to my helmet. Right now, I'm currently riding the TSG, uh, I believe it's either, either the Evolution or uh, something like that, but it's it's pretty nice. It's decently light, it's not too heavy, I and mean, that's the huge thing when it comes to helmets for me, is I want a, a decently light helmet so it's not shaking around my head and making me uncomfortable, so it's pretty cool. Got some Rapture stickers on in my Instagram tag on here, of course, but it does good, and uh, on my helmet, because I cannot stand loose helmets, I actually custom made an internal like little pad right here like sewed it up and uh got it good to go because i got a decently small head so i like to have my helmet like incredibly tight especially when i have that gopro on top of this mount it shakes around if uh if it's on my head and like you know that extra weight kind of throws it off so that pad was definitely needed but yeah i ride the uh, tsg helmet again i'll have all these parts linked down in the description so you guys can check it out and uh if you guys want to pick up the same parts so i ride and that's you know right down there in the description but now let's move on to the next part up next we're gonna be looking at my booty so i ride the tortoise pads right here they got some nice butt pads and they got a hip pad and like a thigh pad riding down in there pretty good they're nice uh nice lightweight they're pretty breathable like you can kind of like see my fingers through there so pretty good and nice and uh they got like a good like amount of flex in them so that's why i ride them i used to ride actually a football like i think it's called like a girdle or something like that but i sewed my own butt pads in them and made it work for a while i kind of ball on a budget so but i i was a big boy i, I spent some big money on the tortoise pads and honestly i don't regret it they hip they move well with the hips and uh they give me a good range of motion so that's why i ride the tortoise pads but uh let's move on to the next one up next is actually a bike brand it's called fuse um they uh make shin guards and what's cool about these is that they have like mainly for bikes but they have like an like a side stitching panel that when it's on the shin it has a little bit more protection on the side and on the front it's kind of like kind of like a special so soccer shin guard you know like when you used to play soccer and you have like the the ankle guards right there and then you got the main shin guard it's like that but it's a little bit made more for riding so they got a nice material so they don't get like too like nicked up from hitting the concrete and stuff so i've been riding these actually for about three years now i used to just literally tape soccer shin guards to my ankles especially when i was learning new tricks it was really helpful to uh wear shin guards now it's not for everybody it definitely takes down your range of motion like especially in that ankle joint right there when you uh when you pivot but for me personally i'd rather save my ankles and my uh my shins especially when learning like some crazy like a bride butter cup i don't want that scooter deck coming down with me in the shin that would just just that that wouldn't be well but that's why i ride shin guards not for everybody, but if it is, you can do what I did. I used to tape soccer shin guards to my ankles and uh, shins, so, but now I stepped it up, got the fuse pads. They work pretty well, but let's go ahead and move on to the next pad. Up next, which is actually more of a recent thing I started doing, I used to ride like some old motocross elbow pads. This is mainly more so for like when I'm doing like 540 flares. I just, I don't want to land on my elbow and get hurt. And I know a lot of people don't wear elbow pads, but I'd rather save my elbow and not get like hurt really bad. But I ride the uh, Fox, I think they're called launch pro um pretty good honestly they they form well to my elbow and they fit nice and snug they don't slip around much so that's really all i needed an elbow pad and i think i've fallen on concrete you can see right here a few times they don't haven't had a hole yet so i like them a lot but uh let's move on to the next pad after that we're now looking at some wrist guards now these are just like two dollar wrist guards i literally picked up i think from like hobby lobby or somewhere just like i just found them and uh, i don't really know where maybe if i can find someone on amazon i'll link it to it but 
They're just super cheap and easy. They just wrap right around the wrists and uh, they do what they need to do. They keep the wrist from like flipping back too far. So if I land on the ground and like land like that, it keeps the wrist from flying back way too far and uh, potentially like spraining or breaking my wrist. So I wear that for just like when I'm trying some big tricks. Now a lot of these pads I actually don't throw on until I'm trying big tricks. Cause like if I'm at the local skate park and I'm just having like a chill session, I don't throw on my pads. Except especially if I'm getting like an Insta clip. It's not. It's just such a hassle to put on all my pads. But if, especially if I'm trying something like really big, I will most definitely put my pads on almost every single time. I cannot stand getting hurt, and it really it takes you out of commission for too long. At least for too long for me. I don't like having being hurt and then going to the next session still hurt. Just it's just not my style. I'd rather be protected and uh, you know be able to ride the next day at the skate park especially if I'm trying something big but let's move on to the last pad that I ride and that is gloves now I've tried a couple different gloves but so far right now what I've been liking is the firm grip gloves I get them from like Home Depot for like 10 bucks and uh, they work pretty well they're actually guarding gloves so they're not even riding gloves but they work good and uh, I can't really justify paying that much for riding gloves just because when I fall you know I'm more likely to put a hole in them so they do what they need to do. They also help when I'm like really sweaty hands. If I'm trying like a really hard trick for a long time, they let me get that extra grip in there so maybe I can get the extra whip or extra uh, extra bar spin in that trick. But that right there is literally all the pads I ride. So I um, I definitely wear a lot of pads. I know a lot of people don't wear this many pads, but for me, I call it my Iron Man suit and I'd rather stay safe than sorry. But uh, I know a lot of people say it brings down the style points, but I don't care. Personally, that's just me. I, uh, I'd rather not be hurt. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw on all my pads, get a session over here at the skate park, strap you on my head so you guys can kind of get to see what I do with all my pads on. Now, when I throw my pads on, I'm not gonna lie, I actually have a better session almost every single time. I throw bigger tricks, I go higher, and all around I just progress a lot more. The times I don't have my pads on, I more than likely don't don't try new tricks, and I just kind of stay consistent with the tricks I do have. So there's definitely the pros and cons to wearing pads. Um, some people say you know it limits the uh, the mobility of your tricks, which I'm not gonna lie, it definitely does. But that's that's preference, uh, but let's go ahead and throw these pads on and I'll see you guys at the park. We gotta make a pit stop over here at the bathroom first. Okay, you guys can't see this part. And we're back. Now let's go throw our pads on and let's go get a session up at the skate park. I almost forgot to mention my shoes I ride in. So I used to ride in Osiris's, but now I started riding Vans. I actually have been liking these a lot more lately because of the grip and the, uh, they're just all around, they have a good feel to them. But uh, I thought I'd touch on the shoes that I ride in. When I'm not having my pads on, I usually ride in I have them in my car. I do not. But usually I ride in my Nikes uh, as some kind of SBs, either uh, Janoskis or um, if you guys know what this is, it's the Nike One Shots. They made them a long time ago. But that's what I ride in when I'm not actually uh, having my pads on, just to get a little more mobility in those ankles. But we're about to get all this on. Three, two, one. All right, we got all my pads on now. Let's go head over to the skate park. All right, first drop. And we'll be good. I did not know he was in the ball. That could have ended very badly. One thing I kind of forgot about with pads is that it cuts down circulation, so I can't pump around as long because it cuts off the blood flow. So that's something I got to readjust to. But, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Wait, it was like I was saying with the pads, it cuts off circulation, so it makes it harder to pump for longer. So we got to readjust to that. Fly out of the ramp right here? Okay. I haven't done a climb about my bank in a while, but we'll see what we can do. So bar spin. Woo! I'm <laughs> I thought I got my first try. How long have you been riding I've been riding about about eleven years or so. Wow. Yeah, over half my life, literally. Wait, what are you gonna do backflip? Uh, you want me to do backflip right now? Yeah. Okay, I'll do a 360 into the ball, okay. and I'll hit it back with that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> First back that can be out of a bank. It's going to be sketch, but we'll try to make it work. <laughs> that was weird to do the first one out of a bank. Now, the legs weren't warmed up, but we got it. <laughs> I'm going to pump around a little more.
couple more tricks. I want to see if I can get a 360 buttercup over this little mini box. Oh, we were close. Let's see if we can get that next trap. Oh, I should have done it. I keep checking it out. I cannot get enough foot on. So I'm trying to charm. There we go. I like that. I haven't done a KFK in a long time. See what we can do here. Keep it alive. See if we can put into the bank. Whew. That run was pretty solid, not gonna lie. A few minutes later. I bet you if you went from at the corner of that, you couldn't manual all the way down and drop in here. Oh dang, that sounds like a good one. What are we betting? A scooter stand. A scooter stand? Yeah. I've got a scooter stand, but. Uh, right now, I got a couple more Raptor stickers. Okay. Okay, let's get it. So if I land it, I give you some more Raptor stickers? Yeah. All right. Well, yes. I don't land it. And I don't get any Raptor stickers. Darn. All right. Well, that's a good bet. I'll get it. <laughs> that was close. All right, do I have to go back into the quarter pipe or into the bank? Uh, into the quarter pipe. Into the quarter pipe? All right. Alright, looks like I might get some more rafter stickers. Yeah, <laughs> I'll call my bag real quick. Do you have any grips? Not on me, but on the rafter's website, I have a whole bunch on there. Thank you, buddy. Thanks. Absolutely. The melon grab, the I'm down for that, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I definitely get the sticker. Heck yeah, dude. Thank hey, you, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, man, absolutely. We got all the pads on. Let's try one flip whip. I haven't done that in so long. See what we can do here. Ah, it was almost first try. I slipped the foot though. We'll try that one more time. I imagine you guys probably can't see the whip because it's so uh, out of frame. So I'm gonna have to have a second angle for this one. All right, second angle. Let's get it. I legit just rolled one foot away from that. So I uh, landed one foot and everything, didn't let the other foot touch the ground. So sketchy, but we gotta get a clean one, then we gotta end the day here. Yeah. That felt really good. I'm really not good at flip whips. I like flare whips better, but flip whips never, never been my strong suit. So let's get this one more clip and then we'll end the session here. All right, let's get this. Ooh, that felt really good. Let's finish this session off now with a back. Take that all day. Alright guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I thought it was kind of cool to give you guys a different video where I got to show you, you know, all the pads that I ride. It felt good to actually put my pads on and have a good session. There's a couple of tricks that I haven't sent in a long time, like that 360 butter cup and flip whip. Like I, I haven't done that in so long. So it felt good to do those tricks. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Real quick, real quick though. Before you guys leave. Drop a comment down below. Like I said before, let me know if you guys wear pads or if you don't wear pads. Maybe give me a reason why. But while you're down there, also just give me one video idea. If you guys got a cool video idea that you want to see in a video, I will give you a shout out if I pick your video. Okay, now I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.